on the night on the truck tonight. Get a little bit more of the sheet metal locked up for this damn thing. I got the columns, brakes, and clutch in. Uh, we still have to use the clutch slide and master cylinder for that. But we are getting there. So we got the gas tank in so we can find a spot for that. Hoping that it might fit in this area. If not, we'll just do it the long way again like we did. So this is coming along pretty good in here. Oh, we got the outer fenders and the inner fenders mocked up. I got the front core support in. Uh, the original radiator for this setup won't fit for how offset the fan is, but the other radiator will. Uh, just trying to get everything to fit up to where it needs to. Do all the shims, because when I took this all apart, I just threw everything in freaking big yellow tub of bolts. So, finding everything and putting it all back together. So let's get some of this worked out and then we'll get some of this wiring in. Because right now this little bracket needs to come out more so this fender can sit up in this pocket but it's just not quite lining up where it's supposed to. So I'll take the fender back off and we'll pound that out and get it in its spot. Look at the 30. Oh, man, this thing is like out of its like position. So we'll get this piece of bent back out. So oh, let's get this bracket welded in. That's what we got it get a bolt in there huh right, so it looks like we got this lining up where we need it at least for this inner bolt so we got that in so I can't do the bottom one for what would be underneath here because that one's all fucked up I don't feel like tapping and doing it but as long as this upper one holds because then it's got all the ones across the top here um, missing this rivet nut uh, then it has it all down here Dad, Axel, Axel. So, get this all good on this side, now we'll get to that side, and then we'll make some adjustments for all the height, and we'll throw the hood on real quick and see where that sits. So, let's get to it. Alright, let's go get the hood, see if it's going to fit. Alright, we got the hood in. I think first that uh, we should get the old gas pedal out, get the other one in, and get some of this wiring in, so... Let's get some of this wiring in first. Oh, we got a wire harness. Let's put it in. We got a mess. We'll get this started out. See where it all goes. Got a piece of that inner fender out to try in the way.
That'll make it easier. Well, we got that in. Got the computer plug in. So those two are plugged in. So now we'll run the rest of the wires. <coughs> Up and around and where they go, plug everything in as we're going. Well, let's get to it. Just tie some of this in. So, 
find a couple of tap selfie screws so we can put some grounds in and we'll be getting there. Alright, so we got most of the wiring in so far for this. I think I'm missing a couple pieces for some plugs here and there. I'll find them later. So the airbox, we're going to have to get a new airbox or something because this isn't going to fit in this style. Um, this relay, probably going to have to find one of these. Not sure if this one's going to work again. So I got like these two. Uh, one more over here. The other one is for the windshield wiper. Um, I think everything else is connected besides this ground for this side. So we'll find a home for that. Uh, these two grounds need to be put in. Let's see, we got this ground in. Uh, then we have to figure out what these two plugs go for. If they went to anything. Um, we got our positive. We got our, like, this fucking thing. So we got to bolt that in still. There's another plug over there. That one definitely wasn't being used. Uh, I mean, this truck had, before I got it, it had other stuff on it. What they were using for plowing. So they're just different setups. I just have to check the other fenders and make sure that I'm not missing anything. But pretty much so far, we're about pretty close on, I think, on all the wiring for this. Besides, like, redoing the headlights and stuff and getting the taillights to work. Uh, like, dorm light, the door light switch. I might put those back in or might not. So... Let's see if we can get the hood on here. Well, cheers to trying to get the hood on by myself, because this is going to be one big ass fucking hood. Well, let's get this thing dragged over. I think the hood's bigger than I am. I think this will work. It definitely is a big front end. I think I'm just gonna have to put the grill on so you guys can see this. That's a pretty big old front end sitting there. So we're pretty close so far. I mean, we definitely got some tweaking a little bit here and there. But overall, not bad for this truck being 70 years old. 77? That's what this model is, 77. F-350 Custom. Hopefully we can get the original hinges to work. But we definitely got some work. I mean, it's definitely there. But we got some more tweaking to do. But that's pretty good so far. Woo! I mean, we definitely got to have some... Uh, I mean, I tell you what, like, looking out that freaking window, looking over, it's like all you see is big black fucking hood. It's definitely going to be going to push bar on that bad boy so we don't ruin the front end. So, we got the hinges here. We're going to freaking glue these bad boys up and let them sit for a while. Get them back in the working order.
Alright, so we found new clips for the hood, because the hood needed new clips on both sides. We ended up taking the strings out so we can get these to move, so they're moving. I got them bolted in. So we'll get these clips in, and then we'll struggle to try to get the hood on. Get this hood in. I think we should take the latch on first. I don't want to deal with that. Keep the latch I think we got it as close as we're going to get it. So. Hood goes up. Hood goes down. Oh, well, that should work. Then we can just put the springs back in later. So, damn good fucking start so far. Got most of the engine wiring in. Got a couple of connections here and there to figure out. Then we put the radiator in. Um, put the fuel seal in and see if we can get the fuel pump to work again. Because we're going to have to do an on-off switch for that again. That's what we had set up the last time. And then maybe we can actually see if this thing will start. Woohoo! So, let's see if we can get one of these springs in. Of course, these bad boys are going to be fun getting back in. Oh, yeah. I think we're going to need a bigger freaking... I'm using the old, like, railroad fucking ranch, it, but I, I think I need something a little bit bigger for that. So, let's find the other freaking big flathead. Right, let's see if we can get this spring in. Ah, we got it in! Woo! Now let's see if we can do it the other side. Ha <laughs> Alright, so, we got the other spring on. That was a little bit easier. Now we have a working hood. Woo! I did get myself. Where the fuck you go? I got myself pretty good. At least twice now tonight. So this shit likes to bite. But we're pretty much there. So we definitely got the hood on now. These things were definitely a pain. If you don't know how to handle these, don't try to attempt it. These springs are like basically the same thing when they're on the front of your plows and shit. You slip with one of these bad boys, you're going to get hurt. So, 
a side note we're gonna have to find one of these relays just in case uh, we got to do our brake lines then the radiator radiator lines uh, the ground take another ground over here another one over there then we can set the fuel lines up and the fuel tank and then we can see if this wants to come to life shortly Quite a lot of work tonight. Got pretty much all the sheet metal on. And we'll make body mounts for up front here to hold this piece in. And then we'll get the rest of the other bolts in for the rest of the cab. Whew. Can I shut it one in? Oh. Yeah, crooked. Hanging up on something in here. Ah, side of the panel. Okay, I see what it is. Not a big deal. Alright, so we're pretty much there for tonight. So, next time we'll get some more done. Well, hope you enjoyed tonight. Getting the front end together and getting some of the wire harnessing done. So, until next time, we'll get the radiator in and a couple of loose ends here and there. Maybe we'll get the gas tank in and see if we can get some power to some stuff. Till then, have a good night. Enjoy.